Right now on KSBY News at 5 o'clock, wildfires continue to rage in Southern California. I opened the front door and I seen a glow over the hill, and then I laid back down. Next thing I know, it's an inferno. Tens of thousands of acres scorched and dozens of Ventura County homes burned to the ground. I mean, it happened so quickly. And, uh, next thing we knew, it's just like the place was engulfed. Well, good evening to you. Thanks for joining us for the news at 5 o'clock. I'm Dan Shadwell. And I'm Karina Corral. We start tonight with an update on the Thomas fire, which just exploded in size overnight. Now, it started around 6.30 last night, just north of Santa Paula, and then spread into Ventura. And here's the latest. At last report, the fire had burned 50,000 acres, roughly. There's still no containment listed. We have heard that at least 150 homes and other buildings have been destroyed. Many more are threatened. About 38,000 people have been evacuated, and Governor Jerry Brown has declared a state of emergency in Ventura County. As for those evacuations, the entire community of Casita Springs has been ordered to evacuate. In Ojai Valley, evacuations have been ordered for those living on Carne Road east to McAndrew Road and Reeves Road north, north to Thatcher Road. Evacuations in Ventura include Tiloma East to Brent Street, Telegraph Road north to Foothill Road, Victoria Road east to Hill Road and North Ashwood Avenue east to Hill Road. And there are also several road closures that we want to let you know about that are affecting the area. In the city of Ventura, Vassar Street is closed at Maryville Avenue. In the Ojai Valley, Highway 150 is closed at Reeves Road. In Santa Paula, Highway 150 is closed at Stonegate, Telegraph Road, and Richmond Road. And Foothill Road is closed at Olive, Cummings, Wells, and Briggs. Now, KSBY News reporter Megan Abundis is in Ventura County. She's been following this fire all day. Megan, I've been following you along on Twitter. You have seen some just devastating images out there. Karina, it's just been complete destruction in multiple areas around the main city of Ventura all the way to Ojai. I saw what were once beautiful big homes just completely reduced to ash and rubble. Everything just absolutely torched, including everything left from the chimneys just to burnt up washer and dryers. It's just total tragic loss. Now, firefighters say embers have been carried for miles, sparking house fires in scattered areas around the whole city of Ventura. That's sparking the embers from the hillsides of Foothill all the way into the main city. Neighborhoods, homes went up in flames. So when residents came back, it really was completely unknown which specific areas the flames touched. Just by coincidence, theirs is burnt down and ours is still there. We've lived here for 15 years and we have wonderful neighbors and I'm so sad for them. Yeah, it's, but the neighbors that I just informed their house was gone said, well, that's what insurance is for. These sporadic house fires are proving to be a pretty difficult firefight for crews around here. Fire crews have been trying to do as much structure protection as possible. Many people I've spoken to are very understandably shaken up, trying to pack up their things, get out if they are in evacuation areas where they're told to do so. It's just orange and red. It looks like the whole place is on fire. It's just terrible. And um, it's just really hard to see this beautiful place burning up. Just a complete tragic loss around many areas of this city. Now with me is Cal Fire Public Information Officer Chris Elms. You know him back from home. He's also here in Ventura. Chris, the latest we've heard, the numbers are still staying the same, but talk to me about the resources. Are any more being ordered? And talk about this kind of fight we may have. Uh, we do have resources ordered, additional resources ordered for this incident. Uh, we do have other fires going on in the county, uh, in L.A. County and Ventura County also, uh, that we will be sharing those resources um, as, as the needs of the incident come up, uh, basically based on uh, life threats, uh, property threats, that kind of thing. They, they will weigh those options and uh, send the appropriate resource to the fire. Can you talk about where this fire is currently and what direction it's still moving in? Uh, this fire right now, the main head of the fire came from Ojai into the city of Ventura, hit the city of Ventura really hard last night. Uh, today, most of the activity was off the Highway one thir or, excuse me, Highway 33 corridor uh, from Ventura up to Ojai, uh, where we saw a lot of activity um, on the hilltop, the ridges behind Otai, or Ojai. They were uh, pretty high winds up there in that area. Definitely. Now, we know there was one firefighter injury. Do we have an update on that? 
Last I heard, he was listed in fair condition. He was taken to a local hospital, uh, evaluated and released. I, I believe he's going to be just fine at this point. Great. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate that. So those numbers still stay the same. 50,000 acres burned and 38,000 people told to evacuate. That doesn't mean they're completely evacuated, but they were given that call. Dan Karina, back to you. Certainly some good news, though. At least we have had no casualties as a result of all this. Well, winds, you could see from some of the people that Megan was talking to.